Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about something I recently got, uh, disc brakes for my wheelchair. These things are really, really, really handy and they supplement the smart drive very well because obviously the smart drive will push you up hills. Uh, going downhill, uh, I've been burning the hell out of my hands for a couple years and obviously using gloves. I felt like I really didn't have as much control going downhill. Um, so I decided to get the brakes set up themselves. They operate pretty much just like a normal uh, bike would. They've got these uh, handles right here. Um, and these actually have a locking function in them. So in order to lock them, it's this button, you just kind of push it with your you, the inside of your hand and it's fully locked. So you can do it with one hand. Um, but the nice thing about this setup is you can control each brake independently. Uh, so when you're going downhill or if you want to turn real quickly, you would just obviously grab one brake handle. So it gives you the maneuverability, but also the control of going downhill rather than trying to do it all with your hands themselves. Um, I'm pretty much just doing this. I'm kind of like supporting my body um, with my thumbs and then just kind of doing this action. So just to show you, these uh, brakes actually replace the camber tube uh, that you originally had. Uh, it's a three-piece setup, and the reason they do this is so you can actually expand these out uh, depending on what width of chair you have. Obviously, I've got them tucked in as close as I can over here, um, and they've actually got these guards, so when you set it down on the ground, you're not actually setting it on the, the brake itself. Um, the mounting for these actually use, it's like a spline drive and I'll show you in a second, the wheels themselves actually have um, a spline drive on them. What they do is they replace the inner bearing of the wheel uh, with this spline drive unit, so it actually will click right into that. So I'll show you that real quick. It really doesn't change much as far as putting the chair together. It just pretty much pops in just like a normal, um, normal wheel and axle would. One thing I do want to kind of mention is uh, this adds probably maybe one or two pounds to the weight of the chair. It is a little bit, but honestly, for the benefit of uh, having wheelchair brakes, uh, I think it's totally worth it. It's been a really big thing for me. Um, and it also does add about an inch of width to the chair. So that's something to think about. Um, I used spacers before, so this really didn't make it much wider than it was before. I actually had to make it wider anyway because uh, the wheels were constantly rubbing on my jeans. Um, so this is a good setup for me. So when the brakes are actually locked, there is a little bit of play back and forth, um, which I thought was gonna be a big issue, but honestly, it does not make any difference with transfers. The chair does stay in place. That little bit of wiggle room isn't a really good deal. These brakes actually were covered by insurance. Uh, they were about $1,000 if you didn't have insurance, but I was able to get a letter of necessity from a physical therapist, and it wasn't an issue. I didn't have to pay out of pocket, which was great. Um, right now, I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how they work, and we'll go from there. These ADI brakes supplement the smart drive unit extremely well. Uh, I can use them to turn right, I can turn left, uh, pretty much just steer the chair as if it was a power chair. Um, I also use these without the drive unit um, if I'm just in the office turning corners. These brakes make it really easy to keep the chair going straight uh, when you're in an off-camber situation, maybe a sloping sidewalk or something similar. All you really have to do is apply pressure to one of the brakes. So on this side, you're going to see that I'm only holding on to the left side brake, and that is what's allowing me to keep the chair going in a straight line. Going downhill is self-explanatory. I'm just gonna apply equal pressure to both sides, keeping the chair going as straight as possible. I did notice at first that the brakes were a little bit squeaky, but as I got them broken in, that squeaking eventually went away. Uh, but these have been great. I mean, I work in an area that's very, very hilly, and in addition to the smart drive unit, these things have just really improved my quality of life. I don't have calluses on my hands anymore, and it's just a lot more comfortable to go far distances.